This is Modern Homesteading. I'd like you to meet my one-man crosscut saw, Henrietta. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, traditionally crosscut saws were given female names uh, by the men who used them in the logging camps because uh, they were unique. Each one had its own particular characteristics and uh, so they were de designated that way. This particular saw I've been using a lot and Henrietta has a problem. She needs a new handle. Uh, she's been fitted with a traditional a D handle, a uh, woodworking handle, and I don't like it uh, for several different reasons. It's too big of a saw, in my opinion, uh, to have this handle, and I can't get, I, I like the feel of a more traditional up and down straight handle. These handles are held on with these brass screws. You can see here, of course, they go through the handle and back through the saw, and no matter with this particular saw how tight I tighten these up, it always has a little bit of play in it, and I can't stand that. When you're working so hard with a crosscut saw and you feel play in the handle, it's wasted energy. Uh, plus, it's just annoying. So I'm going to go over today uh, some of the different crosscut handles. I have three different types here, and we'll see if we can't uh, figure out which will be the best fit for Henrietta. On a side note, you can see on this, uh, my, my carpenter's hand saw here, the Golden Guinea, the fine, fine saw from Sheffield, England, has a five riveted handle. What does that mean? Well, just what, I said, just what it implies there, one, two, three, four, five. That is the uh, sign of a quality saw. Five screws are gonna hold better than three screws. Here we have a saw that's uh, twice the size, maybe three times the size, only being secured with, two, with the three screws. So that in itself is just destined to fail. So we're gonna get rid of this and see, what we can, see if we can modify this to a more suitable handle. The three most common types of crosscut saw handles are going to be as followed. The loop handle, the pin style handle, and the Pacific Coast pin style with a built-in handguard. The pin handle, like we have right here, was really popular with the logging companies and they ordered a lot of these in the early years because they were the least expensive. And how they work is they simply use the saw holes there and they lock in there and then you tighten them down and then you have the handle sticking up. These are reversible. So if you want to, you can spin this handle around the other way. What happened typically with these, the sawyers that were using them did not like them because they just, they couldn't get all the movement out of them and they would wiggle and, and you just don't want that because it's just wasted energy. So what they would end up doing is tighten these screws down with pliers trying to take out the slack in it and this being an inferior metal being cast up against this really super high quality blade steel, it usually deformed it to the point where they couldn't get them out anymore and they were just a hassle and they were just not well liked and guys that used them a lot did not like them. So, But let's go see if this wouldn't work or be an option for Henrietta's new handle. So you can see right here, I've got the holes. These three holes were for the original D handle and they were too small. They wouldn't fit any of these pins. So I had to drill them out to the size of a crosscut saw. And man, you wouldn't believe how hard the steel is. I fried three of my best drill bits trying to drill that through there and I never could get through it. I ended up having having to file this hole out and I'll have to file these out to match. But as you can see, you know, the pin is designed to go in for all these handles on a larger hole. So this, this being filed, filed out, that will simply go in there and you'll see the groove lines up the back of the saw. Tightening this up, this would be an option. And it also allows you to, you know, handle it from the top. You can spin it around if you wanted to, handle it from the bottom. One disadvantage of this, though, is you cannot run it this way uh, like you can the uh, the Northwest style of handles. You could, could never run it this way if you wanted to uh, uh, fall with it. But this would work, and it's an option, but I think we could do better. So the next type of handle, this is a bit of an anomaly. It's a little bit weird, but it's a loop handle. And most of them, I think you're going to find, they don't have this offset in them. They would have just been straight straight on the loop would have come right off the bottom and by twisting the wooden handle would have tightened it. This um, is designed for saws that have a V or kind of a U cut in there. If you see that's cut in there that's made to receive that loop it holds up in there and of course you can tighten it down. Um, a lot of the sawyers like these 
especially the ones that were one piece when they were falling because simply by twisting the handle they could re quickly remove the one end because usually when you're cross cut falling uh, once you get close the trees close to fell or uh, start coming close to coming down one of the sawyers is going to remove his handle and then uh, leave and then leave it leave the finishing up to to just the one uh, the one sawyer so you can see the advantages and disadvantages of that because you can't, you, you can only hold above the teeth. You can't get below. It just gives you a little bit less flex, flexibility. Um, and I don't, maybe there were some that you could change the orientation, but this, I don't know that this, this isn't going to really be an option for us. Perhaps it might work on the end of the saw for a second saw you're on a cross cut saw, but let's go check and see what it'll, let's just go see. If you did want to have a friend come and you could put a handle on here, typically there's a small handle that goes in there would be a better option. I wish I had one of those, but I don't. You could do this in a pinch, however, it's going to destroy your tooth. As you tighten this up, it's going to come up against the cutting tooth. So this is not an option. That's not an option at all for Henrietta. Before I forget, I want to give special thanks to my um, friend, new friend and subscriber, subscriber Patrick Sparksman. He sent me three crosscut saws uh, in the mail, and he is the one that provided uh, this pin, the set of nice pin handles and the loop handles, in addition to this uh, small uh, bucking saw, which I've been demonstrating with, which I really like. It's a nice little, it's about a four footer, and it would be really great for teaching people and for kids, and this is a saw you could run by yourself, and it's on, definitely on my restoration list, so thank you, Patrick, for that. I also want to show you how he shipped these in the box because it uh, we cracked up when it came when it arrived here so Patrick having uh, shipped thousands and thousands of packages myself with my, through my internet businesses over the last 10 years I can, I can appreciate this however I've never seen so many stamps he shipped this three crosscut saws in these priority boxes taped together it's probably eight feet long maybe nine feet long um, I don't know, I'm guessing there was 250 stamps on here, so I wonder, I wonder how the post office enjoyed counting these. A lot of these I cut off that had the label on there, but way to go, Patrick, making the post office earn their keep. And finally, the Pacific Coast type of handles. And of course, I had already decided on this before I started, but I just wanted to show you kind of why and some of the different handles. This uh, has the pin, machined pin, and the built-in handguard. And not only is it reversible, uh, but it's, a four, it's reversible in four positions. So you can change the handle and orient, orient the saw horizontally. So it just gives you all types of options and it's gonna be perfect. And I have been using this actually handle. This is Wanda's handle from my uh, six and a half foot crosscut saw. So um, this was definitely on loan and uh, Henrietta cannot get used to it. She needs to have her own handle. So I have one right here uh, that uh, I put together and similar design you can see with the hand guard. Most of these have, the ones that I have anyway, I've got quite a few of them now and they're pretty much universal. You can kind of swap pieces back and forth and make them work, but you can see essentially the same thing right there. A little bit different design, but um, uh, we'll restore this and see if we can't fit it up and make a proper handle for, uh, for Henrietta.